Hi, folks, this is County Line Gardener. This is uh, January the 1st, and I'm ready to plant, plant some seeds. I can't wait any longer. Uh, we always plant our seeds, our flower seeds, first, about the first, second week of January, and so on. In January, I'll just put it, uh, we want them blooming nice by May. So uh, we sell our flowers in pots and hanging baskets, and uh, ladies just love them, and uh, I love growing them. And uh, we're gonna we're gonna grow a few more this year than we did the previous years, and we're just wanting to get a little bit earlier start. So uh, we're gonna put some uh, seeds in, and you can just sit there and watch me. I use old uh, Jiffy tree or Jiffy tree Jiffy seed starting mix like I always do I just love it just uh, it's just good stuff it's moist see how moist that is coming out of that bag and I keep it warm out here in this heated garage this is our seedling greenhouse we call it uh, it's just so good and there's no sticks in it no nothing it's just it's just great I'll tap it down with some few more here. Then I'll wipe off the ridges here so you can separate the cells. Okay. Let's go over here. Sit down. And uh, <laughs> these uh, pansies are what we're going to grow today. Pansies. Uh, we are going to try attempt to grow some pansies and they are so tiny it's unbelievable so uh, what we're going to do if we can my goodness i can't even see them but, uh, here's what we're going to do sometimes we have to to do this with the smaller ones i can still see just uh, kind of make you a little V in your envelope that they come in. Just start trying. There they come. Okay, there's one. Two. Three. <laughs> They're awfully small. Get them help. Get them some help. You can see how many. There's about five there. About five there, and that's plenty. Don't want them to all come at once. That's the main thing. You don't want. It's hard to control. I know they have fancy little things you can use. Uh, people use them for carrots and other things, and. Uh, I just, I, I do okay like this, so the other things are fine if that's what you want. There's no science to this, it's just however you want to do it. This has worked, always worked well for me. I've tried holding them in my palm of my hand and I tell you what, there's no mistake about it, I will sneeze or something like that every single time and lose them. 500 seeds in this one little package. Okay, okay. Yeah, a little more in that one than should be, but we're fine. I want to give a shout out to Ohio Heirloom Seeds out of Columbus, Ohio. Uh, Ohio HeirloomSeeds.com uh, I get a lot of my seeds from them. I didn't realize that until this year. I've got all my seeds, all my seeds, uh, bought for this year. Everything but onions and potatoes. Those two things I get at the local um, landscaping store. Uh, okay, now I'll go in here now. And I'll bury them, bury them a little better than they are. We'll see what happens here. They love to watch I just love to watch seedlings grow uh, just about as much as I do the plants once we get them in the garden. We're sitting here 
it's five degrees above zero. We're in uh, southern Indiana. Five degrees above. We've had a little bit of snow, about an inch of snow on the ground for the last. Uh, well, this is uh, this is New Year's Day. Uh, New Year's Eve. Uh, the snow's been on the ground for at least a week, and that's okay. Uh, I had I had a little bit of trouble last year gardening with bugs, especially the potatoes. They ate my they ate them up, rained them. And uh, the harder, the longer that ground is snow covered and frozen, the better off we are on bugs. Okay, now we're gonna we're gonna take the tray, put it in the tray, and we're gonna go over here. We've got a heating mat, heating mat, and a standard four foot shop light. Don't go, don't fall for those. Other lights, those fancy grow lights, there's nothing, uh, folks that grow just as well with this for half the price. Okay? Okay, now, before I'm done, I'll, I'm not going to do this on camera, but I'll have all eight little trays in here. Okay? And you get the idea. This is the way I've done it every year. And these will all be pansies. And I'll probably have another tray full of them. If things will work out well here, I have 72 flowers at least, or more. And we'll put those in the baskets, in the hanging baskets. You see here's my hangers for the baskets. And uh, show, them, show them all of them. We got them all up and down through there. We've got about a U, about a hundred used baskets I get and uh, people want to throw them away I said, sure I'll take them because uh, we sell them and we can't afford to buy them because they're a dollar and a half a piece so anyway you get the idea here okay now here's something that's important to me I'll to, let's say this is all full of uh, like this I'll take a couple of them out and I will fill this full of water not fill it full of water, excuse me. I'll about a half inch to three quarter an inch of water down in there. Uh, don't don't water from the top. Uh, I think everybody will agree with me on that. You 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 run the risk. You run the risk of knocking them little seeds out of that tray. Uh, if you water from the top, they'll splash out. You can see, but half inch. There are some of these trays are floating right now because they don't have anything in them, but that one there is getting good water. Uh, string, it'll just suck that water right up through there. Okay, well, uh, we'll, we'll, we'll update this in a few weeks or a month or whatever and see just, just how they're doing. But uh, as you can see all the way down through here, all the way down through here, back the other way, and underneath, Underneath you'll see all them lights down through there. And I'll have two more tables besides these two. On the ends of these, there'll be trays of tomato plants and uh, well you just look at some of the old uh, the older commercials or the videos and you'll see what I'm talking about. But uh, I wanted to touch on something else while we're while we're here. Uh I write down everything I do in the garden, starting with today. With today with my first seeds, and here, uh, here's here, here's what I do. Just like here, right here, garden 2017. Ordered my pumpkin, watermelon seeds. Planted four cell tray of, of tomato seeds uh, on December 29th. Um, here we go. January 18th, a Wednesday, I wrote it down, and look at this, folks, it's, that goes all the way, all the way to the end of the year. Uh, I just, I, every day, I just take five, ten minutes and sit down and write it down. And believe it or not, I go back the next year and I use this, and it's very, very helpful. 
um, at the very end of the year I, I, I write a recap, a whole paragraph about how well the season went and uh, I mean I put down anything. I even put down when I when I spray around the, the electric fence and I use these yellow legal pads. And they work, they work fine. There's 216, there's 217, I've got 215, 214, and 213 in the utility room. But I've tried something new this year and I think it's going to work a lot better for me. Bought it at Walmart. I think we've all heard of World Walmart. Uh, it's called a weekly monthly planner. I'm sure you're all familiar with them. Um, it starts actually starts in December. Uh, you can see I've already started. I wrote down when I ordered my seeds, and uh, here January start out with a calendar. But here's what I like: each day, each day, it gives you plenty of room there to write down what you've done every day, all the way up until December 31st. It's pretty awesome, and. Uh, Oh, they're seven or eight bucks, but uh, they're well worth it. And you can go back year to year and see and see what what you did. I mean, I've learned, you know, wh wh when to plant things, where to plant things, and how to plant things. Uh, what to use on my uh, in blossom rod on the tomatoes, big horn green worms on things like that. Uh, one other thing is this is this is just the way I do it. You know, if people do what they want, uh, we grow a lot of tomatoes. Uh, we had 250 plants last year, and that's a lot of seeds. I just I got me a couple of these old filing cabinets, a bunch of Manila folders. Each one of these, I put them in there by obviously alphabetical order, and I can I can tell the f next year what I need to order on seed wise, you know, like uh, oh, let's say golden jubilee here. I'll pull it out and I'll look in there and I'll see. Oh, uh, you've got shoot, you've got a hundred seeds. You're okay on them. So you know, and things like that. And I just keep them there, keep them in order. Uh, that's the tomatoes. There's about I think. Well, we counted 90, 90 different tomato plants. And over here on this one, it's peppers. Look at the pepper seeds in here. Uh, all kinds. There's six six colors of uh, bell peppers, jalapenos, and it goes on and on and on. Get back here. You got watermelon. Eight or ten kinds. I don't know. Uh, cantaloupe. What? Uh, pumpkins. Uh... Gourds, spaghetti squash, Casper pumpkins, uh, zucchini, it just goes on and on and on. Back here in the very back, you can see, are my big seeds. There's Indian corn, my other, my sweet corn, purple hall peas, one of my absolute favorites. If you'll watch my videos, you'll know that they're one of my favorites. And uh, I'm excited because I'm getting started on this. Uh, can't wait. Shutting down the old train sets down in the basement uh, this week because I'm wanting to wanting to get started. Green beans. I got uh, I got five pounds of green beans there. That's gonna last me a few years. Believe me. Uh, I learned something this year. I had to order watermelon seeds, cantaloupe seeds. There's no excuse for that. They're so easy to save. I don't know why I did not save any. I saved uh, okra seeds. I saved oh, I saved okra seeds. I saved cucumber seeds. But uh, I don't know why I forgot to or save the others. But uh, well, I've rambled on enough. I'm just excited about getting started on the season. Can't wait. Uh, but. Uh, I wish everybody good luck this year on their gardening and uh, subscribe and leave me some comments. We're all in this together. So uh, this is County Line Gardener saying bye-bye.